This clip will show you how to use the data in SIMS so that you can send messages. The Schoolcoms wizard is quick and easy and reduces data entry to a minimum. First, log into Schoolcoms and then click on the management bar. And here you can see the details of the last time the import was completed. Click on Edit Settings. This screen enables you to choose the data to be read from SIMS and used by Schoolcoms. If this is the first time you have logged in, then Schoolcoms will automatically take you here directly. The school members include all your students, teachers and support staff whose details are held in SIMS. When you want to send a message, you will be able to pick the recipients individually or by group. Choose whether to import the pre-admission students as well as the on-roll students by ticking the checkbox. To import them you will need permissions in SIMS to access admissions. Next choose whether to import all the groups from SIMS or only the active groups. Choosing the active groups will make the import quicker to complete and this reads all your SIMS groups including teaching groups and user-defined groups. Moving down the settings box, the next section deals with importing contact details, that is, email addresses and mobile numbers. First of all, choose whether to import the contacts from SIMS or not. If you use SIMS, then we strongly recommend that you use the data already held there. If you're not sure, or don't use SIMS, then read the help page on making this choice or contact our support team for some advice. Next, choose whose details to find. You can select from the students themselves, the students' family contacts, and the staff. Then choose the contact method, SMS text message, and email. On the right of the screen here, you can choose whether to notify any new or amended contacts. You don't need to send these messages if your community are already aware that you will be using their information for email and text messaging. But if not, you can tick these boxes and a message will be sent to each new or amended contact as the import runs by text or email, telling them that they are linked and how to opt out if they wish. By default, just the Priority 1 contacts are taken from SIMS and they are all flagged as prime contacts. But there are more choices available by clicking on this Change button. Before changing these settings, please read the help document. This screen gives you flexibility to import other priorities and also to set the prime flag either by priority or by parental responsibility. If you are returning to check your settings, the screen will have opened with the selections that you chose last time you ran the import. You will not usually wish to change these settings. When you are ready, click Run Import or for returning users, click Save and then Run Import. You will need to enter your usual SIMS login credentials. You will need to have read and write permissions for both student and staff details. And tick the box here for Schoolcoms to remember your SIMS details if you don't want to enter these every day. The import will take a few minutes and you can monitor the progress on screen. When the import has finished, there may be some items in the task list. You'll be shown a list of members proposed for deletion. Click on the icon and if you are happy that these members have left the school and you no longer wish to send them messages, move the names to confirm and click OK. Otherwise, you can cancel and come back to it later. The levers can be accessed at any time from the Import Management screen and the Delete by clicking on the Delete Levers button at the top. The next task may be that there were some data issues. Click on the icon 
and you will be shown the details of any invalid email addresses or mobile numbers that couldn't be imported. For instance, ones with no at in or no dot. You can amend these in SIMS and repeat the import wizard. This report also shows contacts that have failed frequently and so been blocked, saving sending unnecessary messages. When you first log in each day you will be prompted to run the import in the background so that you are always using the latest information. If you wish you can choose to do this without a prompt. Alternatively, just return to the management screen and click on the Run Import button. The settings you have chosen will be maintained. If you need any more information, you can click on the Help button on the screen, which will take you to our context-sensitive help pages. That's it. Now you can return to the messaging screen and send messages using the most up-to-date information from SIMS. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on the Import Wizard.